Okay, this can be a very quick video on how to install the weldment and templates that you may need for your courses for SOLIDWORKS. So the first step in this is connect to the VPN, which I already am. Uh, you can find a video on how to do that on our website where this video is located. Uh, you will then need to map the network drive and you can also find that instruction video on the same website. I have already mapped this drive. So that is the path that I have mapped it to. You don't necessarily need this engineering software portion, just the shares. So I'm gonna open up the SOLIDWORKS 2020 folder and I can see the templates and the weldment profiles here. I'm going to open up this location for templates and weldment. So that's gonna tell me where to put them. So the first one I'm gonna place is the templates. So this, this is gonna tell me where to go for the templates. So I'm gonna open up another file explorer window. I'm going to navigate to that. That is on my C drive, uh, SolidWorks. Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped a step. So this is actually in program data. You may not see program data on your computer. What you're going to need to do is go to view and make sure that you have this box checked next to hidden items. So I just unchecked it. And if you saw before I had that program data file, I don't now, so you may not. So you have to hit this hidden items folder. And so that's gonna appear again for me as program data. I'm gonna open that up. And here I'm gonna search for SOLIDWORKS. So I just hit the S key after I highlighted it that we could jump to the S's. SOLIDWORKS. Uh, I then need to open up the SOLIDWORKS 2020. And you can see this folder named templates here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that, and open that up. I'm gonna go back to my server drive. I'm going to get the templates. I'm gonna go ahead and just select all of them. Uh, to, the, to do that, I hit Control A, and then I'm gonna hit Control C to copy. Alternatively, you could right click and come down to copy. And then I'm gonna go back over to my local drive. And I am going to right click and hit paste. And it's gonna bring all those down for me into there. And that's it for templates. So I'm gonna go back to the C drive again. And this time I'm gonna look for where I wanna put the weldment profiles. So again, here is the path that I need to put the weldment profiles. So that is telling me, let's come back to my local drive, that I need to go to program files. SOLIDWORKS, CORE, SOLIDWORKS, LENG, ENGLISH, and you'll see the weldment profiles folder right here. I'm gonna open that. And the exact same thing as last time, I'm gonna come back over to the server drive. I'm gonna go to the weldment profiles. I'm going to highlight all of those. Again, I'm gonna control C to copy. Again, you could right click and copy if you wanted to. Come back over to my local drive. I'm going to right click and hit paste. That is going to transfer all of those over for me. It takes a little bit longer on these ones. You can go ahead and replace any that are in there, because you'll want to use the, these ones for your class. And if you need admin rights, I'm just going to say, do this for all current items, hit continue. And depending on your network speed is how long this is going to take to do. Looks like it's going to take a little while for mine. It's estimating 16 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video real quick and we'll be back when this is done. 
Okay, those have officially all copied over and that's all there is to it. Just close it out. And as far as how to access all of that, your instructor can show you in class. All right, thank you.